Picture this, it's a quiet evening, and you find yourself nestled comfortably on your couch, remote in hand, ready to embark on a cinematic journey. The year is 1977, and a movie titled Audrey Rose begins to play on your screen. Little did you know, this encounter would be etched into your memory like a timeless melody. As the story unfolds, your emotions ebb and flow, mirroring the character's tumultuous journey. Perhaps it was the eerie ambience that sent shivers down your spine, or maybe the tender moments that tugged at your heartstrings. Whatever it was, Audrey Rose left an indelible mark, a collection of moments that you've carried with you through time. But let's not dwell solely on nostalgia, let's fast forward to today. As we delve into the obscure treasures of this movie, you're about to uncover random facts that will reignite your fascination. Did you know that Audrey Rose was based on a novel by Frank DeFelida, who also penned the screenplay? The threads of creativity run deep, weaving connections that spark new appreciation for the film. And oh, the performances that brought the characters to life. They are more than just scripted lines. They are the essence of an era that continues to resonate. So, as we journey through the labyrinth of intriguing details about Audrey Rose, remember the first time the movie danced across your senses. Think of the scenes that linger like old friends, and the emotions that surged like an unpredictable tide. Our exploration is about to begin, peeling back the layers to reveal the hidden gems that make this cinematic creation truly remarkable. Released in 1977, Audrey Rose is a thought-provoking film that blends elements of drama, horror, and the supernatural. The story revolves around Janice and Bill Templeton, a couple whose lives are upended when a stranger named Elliot Hoover becomes convinced that their daughter Ivy is the reincarnation of his own deceased child, Audrey Rose. The movie delves into themes of past lives, belief systems, and the boundaries of science and spirituality. Hoover's obsession with Ivy's supposed reincarnation drives a tense courtroom drama as he attempts to prove his theory, challenging conventional notions of life and death. The film's unique blend of psychological drama and supernatural intrigue sets it apart, keeping viewers engaged with its suspenseful narrative and ethical dilemmas. Boasting standout performances by Marsha Mason, Anthony Hopkins, and John Beck, Audrey Rose captivates audiences with its eerie atmosphere and thought-provoking questions about the afterlife. While not a massive commercial success, the film has left a lasting impression on horror and thriller genres, contributing to discussions about spirituality and the unknown. Its exploration of reincarnation and the limits of human understanding continues to intrigue audiences, making Audrey Rose a memorable piece of cinematic history. Audrey Rose, a haunting tale of adaptation and debut in the realm of cinematic adaptation. Some stories find themselves reborn on the silver screen. In 1977 seconds, Audrey Rose, directed by Robert Wise, stands as a testament to this phenomenon. Adapted from the novel of the same name by Frank DeFelida, the film casts a spectral gaze on themes of reincarnation and the unshakable connections that transcend time. Notably, Audrey Rose was the first of two novels penned by DeFelida to be transformed into compelling theatrical experiences. The second, The Entity, continued to explore the boundary between the corporeal and the ethereal, solidifying DeFelida's reputation for plumbing the depths of the supernatural and the human psyche. Emerging from the shadows of the film's mystique is Susan Swift, whose debut in Audrey Rose marked the beginning of a cinematic journey. Swift's portrayal of Ivy Templeton, a character entwined with the enigmatic narrative, showcased her talent and foreshadowed her future contributions to the silver screen. Remarkably, Audrey Rose arrived merely two years after DeFelida's source novel hit bookshelves, a testament to the swift metamorphosis of literary imagination into visual storytelling. The author's dual role as the screenplay writer and co-producer added an authentic layer to the film's creation, intertwining his creative vision with the cinematic rendition. As celluloid met metaphysics, Audrey Rose etched its mark on the tapestry of supernatural cinema, bridging the gap between the known and the unknowable. Its journey from page to screen, orchestrated by the deft hands of Frank DeFelida, stands as a testament to the power of storytelling that transcends time and medium. Audrey Rose, Robert Wise's intriguing departure into horror in 1977. Renowned director Robert Wise, better known for his cinematic triumphs in musicals like West Side Story 
and The Sound of Music took a chilling detour into the horror genre with Audrey Rose. This marked his final foray into horror, having previously delved into the eerie with films like The Haunting, The Body Snatcher, and The Curse of the Cat People. In his autobiography, Robert Wise on his films, from editing room to director's chair, Wise shed light on the improvisational approach employed during the making of Audrey Rose. A pivotal bedroom confrontation between Marsha Mason and John Beck was proving unsatisfactory as scripted. Wise's ingenious solution was to let the actors spontaneously dive into the scene after regular shooting had concluded. The result, a raw, intense argument that outshone the original version. Writer Frank DeFelida captured every unscripted moment on tape, later reworking the scene incorporating the actor's improvised brilliance. This departure from Wise's traditional methodology showcased the director's willingness to experiment for cinematic perfection. Interestingly, auditions for the film's titular role included a youthful Brooke Shields. Little did anyone know, Shields would later grace the cover art of the source novel, further linking her to the eerie narrative. This revelation was corroborated by Susan Swift in 2016, solidifying the intriguing connection between the young actress and the haunting tale. Audrey Rose remains a captivating enigma within Wise's filmography. An unexpected departure, the film's improvisational boldness and casting choices reveal the multifaceted layers that contribute to the mysterious aura surrounding this cinematic endeavor. In 1977, director Robert Wise embarked on a cinematic journey that delved into the enigmatic realms of life and death with the movie Audrey Rose. Beyond the screen, the film was intricately woven with captivating elements that mirrored its mystique. At the heart of the production was the remarkable young actress Susan Swift, who tackled the formidable challenge of a dual double title role. Director Wise, recognizing the demands of this endeavor, enlisted an acting coach to guide Swift through the intricacies of her roles. Swift's portrayal of Ivy and Audrey Rose was a testament to her talent and dedication, a feat that added layers to the film's narrative. The movie's poignant finale echoed the philosophical underpinnings of the novel it was adapted from. Drawing from the Bhagavad Gita, an ancient Indian scripture, the closing credits bore the profound quote, There is no end. For the soul there is never birth nor death, nor, having once been, does it ever cease to be. It is unborn, eternal, ever-existing, undying, and primeval. This spiritual denouement resonated with the film's exploration of the eternal nature of the human spirit. Behind the scenes, the genesis of Audrey Rose was equally compelling. The screenplay's roots extended into the personal experiences of the source novelist, Frank DeFelida. Intrigued by an incident in his own life, DeFelida's contemplation of reincarnation was sparked when his young son displayed prodigious musical talent seemingly beyond his years. The notion of remembering a previous life ignited DeFelida's creative journey, culminating in the novel that would later inspire the film. Intricately weaving elements of the supernatural with the human experience, Audrey Rose not only captured cinematic imaginations, but also delved into profound questions about existence. Through the meticulous artistry of its actors, the wisdom of ancient scriptures, and the inspiration drawn from life itself, the movie etched its place in the tapestry of cinematic history. So, whether on screen or in the annals of literature, the story of Audrey Rose continues to unfold, a testament to the unending exploration of life, death, and the human soul. Unveiling the enigmatic Audrey Rose, a tale beyond the screen in 1977, the silver screen bore witness to a haunting narrative that defied the boundaries of mortality. Audrey Rose, crafted by author, screenwriter, and producer Frank DeFelida, this supernatural saga left an indelible mark on cinema. Yet, lurking beyond its celluloid frames are intriguing facets that continue to captivate enthusiasts. The Felida's mastery extended beyond the screen. In 1982, he penned For Love of Audrey Rose, a sequel to the original novel that tantalizingly expanded the enigma. Surprisingly, this literary journey has remained uncharted territory in the realm of film, a hidden gem beckoning to be unearthed. The year of its publication aligned with another cinematic venture, the entity, derived from DeFelida's 1978 opus, proving his inexhaustible ability to navigate the eerie. But Audrey Rose's mystique isn't confined to its narrative alone. The film introduced Susan Swift, who made her dazzling debut as Ivy Templeton. Swift's portrayal injected youthful intrigue into the plot, a remarkable inauguration of a promising cinematic career. 
Her presence not only elevated the film's suspense, but also set her on a trajectory to further cinematic accomplishments. As the credits rolled, Audrey Rose etched its name into the tapestry of supernatural cinema. The tale's grip endures through an unpublished sequel and the emergence of a budding star. Its legacy persists, a testament to the power of storytelling that transcends the confines of time and mortality. Unveiling hidden chapters, igniting careers anew, the tale of Audrey Rose resonates, beckoning us to ponder the realms that lie beyond what meets the eye. And that's the enigmatic allure of Audrey Rose, where the ordinary meets the supernatural, and the unknown beckons us forward. As we bid adieu to the enigmatic world of Audrey Rose, let the embers of its thought-provoking narrative continue to cast their glow upon the corridors of your mind. Like whispers carried on a gentle breeze, this 1977 cinematic masterpiece beckons you to explore the intricate tapestry of life, death, and the ethereal connections that transcend them. As you reminisce about the film's haunting elegance, perhaps you'll find yourself drawn into your own memories and musings. Was it the ethereal performances that stirred your soul, or the timeless themes that resonated deeply within? Did you, too, sense the delicate dance between science and the unexplained? the corporeal and the spiritual. Audrey Rose, a canvas painted with emotions as vibrant as the colors of existence, prompts you to unravel the enigma of your own perceptions. Allow your thoughts to meander through the corridors of the past and present, bridging the gap between reality and the unseen. So, I invite you, dear reader, to share your whispers of Audrey Rose. Unearth your favorite moments, the scenes that left footprints on your heart, or the questions that still linger like fragments of a forgotten dream. Let's gather these fragments and weave them into a tapestry of shared reflections. Thank you for investing your time and curiosity in this journey through the enigmatic realms of Audrey Rose. Your thoughts are a treasured tapestry, threads that intertwine to create a unique narrative mosaic. Until we embark on another shared exploration, keep those memories close, and let the spirit of Audrey Rose inspire your contemplations.